Good morning, dear participants. I'm Priscilla Castellini, a PhD candidate in Technology and Society at Federal University of Technology in Paraná, Brazil. I made this work with Marília Abrão Amaral. The title of this work is A Panel to Confront the Difference in Intersectional HCR. We organize this presentation in eight topics. So we're going to start the introduction, situating the feminist technoscience based on Donna Haraway, uh, third wave HCI based on uh, Susan Bodker, systematic mapping, third wave human computer interaction, uh, intersectional theory and intersectional HCI, research methodology six, data analysis, and results. The objective of this research is to present the pan, our panel to identify the difference when HCI research appropriates intersectional theory without considering black women, struggle, and resistance. We're going to start with this question, uh, who is narrating computer science history? And uh, everything in society depend on who, depends on who is narrating the story. Uh, for a long time in computer science, this story, uh, it was and it still is male. This concept, uh, retelling story based on Donna Haraway, it represents people who have been silenced from, stories, from history. Uh, as an example, we have Catherine, Dorothy, and Mary stories that 940 contribute to computations, codes, and mathematical calculations, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. These three women's contributions are not the most culturally and historically known in computer science and society. Uh, based on systematic mapping, we identified that on third wave human-computer interaction, there are three strands that are feminist human computer interaction, gender HCI, and intersectional HCI. To situate feminism in science, uh, we appropriate from two concepts from Donna Haraway. First one is embodied objectivity, and second, situated knowledge. Embodied objectivity for her is to criticize the idea of neutrality and objectivity in science and technology. And the concept situated knowledge to think that all knowledge uh, is situated and partial. Uh, on this term, techno-science, uh, right, right together, she thinks that it's inseparable. She Harris thinks that it's inseparable because she considers that one depends to other. And this term, techno-science, is a criticism of science and technology. Her thought is, is looking for science and technology or techno science, but these uh, two questions uh, we bring here to this presentation now to this work because it's really important to uh, observe uh, computer science and human computer interaction based on her view. So, the first question is who is in the power domain? And second, who produces, creates science and technology and knowledge? On human-computer interaction, based on Susan Bodker, she thinks that the waves are not chronological or linear, but the approach and the appropriation are diverse. The first wave, um, cognitive science and human factor, factor. The second wave uh, is from human factors to human actors. And the third wave, people's experience are observed how the develop, people who develop and use technology. On third wave uh, human computer interaction, we made a systematic mapping on six phases. And the first one is search phase. Second, research question. Uh, we organize key search, relevant publications, data uh, uh, classification and extraction, and uh, data analysis. This is a part of my research results, and here I put a dot in each publication, and we can identify that in Latin America there is there were no publications until now. 
own intersectional theory. We base it on Kimberly Crenshaw and Mira Yuval Davis. For Kimberly Crenshaw, intersectional theory as a crossroads in which the crossing roads collide and multiple oppressions appear. Uh, she understands it on structural and political. Mira Yuval Davis, for her, the point is not to deny the importance of categories and she understands on material and discursive, but on the process by which produce, experience, reproduce, and resistance. Uh, based on these two authors, uh, the intersectional HCI has contradictions and gaps that exist in talking about intersectionality as a white women and privileges. Intersectionality is not to give priority to a category, only, but cross them. Our research methodology is qualitative, exploratory, and critical along four stages. Bibliographic uh, survey, systematic mapping, data analysis, and panel construction. This timeline is just about intersectional HCI from 2016 to 2019. And the, um, the results we had 11 publications, and these some results that we can notice the importance of encouraging intersectional research to expand identity representation, the importance of recognizing the theory in its idealization, and multiple oppression to think about multiple oppressions and black women's experience. Oh, this one. And this. Uh, the panel is uh, a way to understand intersectional theory in dialogue with feminist technocytes. The panel to confront the difference in intersectional yeah. About intersection, it's to question barriers, beliefs, and limiting structures and gender, race, and ethnicity, and social class. Situated, it situates scientific knowledge to question. Who defines who are, what are the privileged? And bodies identified that science and technology was created by and for men to embody and retell story with new perspectives. Now, another result from my view the feminist, gender, and intersectional HCI are strands and are not interdependent. The third wave HCI research involves an active, critical, and reflective position which comes from feminist struggles from the 1980s to date. The importance of understanding intersectional theory, the panel creation as is a proposal that is not static, linear, and much less an absolute truth. The panel is a way to understand, understand intersectional theory in dialogue with feminist technocytes. This dialogue here in Brazil situates context is pioneering research. My future studies will investigate the third wave human computer interaction perspective that involves participation and diversity in computer science. So, acknowledgement uh, this ECFPR is our university. PPGTE is the uh, program and technology and society that I studied. And Grupo Shue, the last one here, is our group. Studio Shue is our group, research group. This study was financed in part by CAPIT. Thank you for you to watching. Uh, here we have, uh, you have my email, my LinkedIn if you can add me, and my contact info.